right, time to make homework fun. Adina is joining us this morning with some great ideas utilizing something that everyone wants to know about is the chalkboard paint. Yes, and you know, I didn't even realize until I went over to Michael's at Ingram, they have it in all kinds of colors. I did. I thought it only came in black. I know, me too. Okay. Martha Stewart has a whole new line of paint. I love her new paints because you can use it on any surface. And so I didn't get black. I got brown and blue and green. I and love so, it. What a great idea. Yes, but I do want to give you a couple tips. Okay. Because um, we are going to hot glue later, so you have okay, to put okay. a Band-Aid on. All I right, burn which myself. my hot glue finger? Your finger, right okay. here. So it's my fingy. This is Adina's. <laughs> it's the tip for the ages. Always. Yes. Put it, where do I put it? Like this? I put it right here. And the main reason is because you are going to touch the material. And so if you have your band aid on first, you won't burn your finger. Okay. All sounds right. good. Okay. So now we're ready. All and right. then the next tip I want to give you is when you're painting on clay, mm -hmm. use a base coat first. I did not. Okay. And if you do, you won't have to put so many layers. So if you're going to do some pottery, like you want to make herbs and write it on there right. or something. Okay. Exactly. And now this is chalkboard paint. So I want to show you. Look at this. After you do it, you can write. Look, we'll write your name. Shelly. That's so cute. That's a great idea to plant some herbs in there or something, and then you can write on there what it is. I know. How cool is that? So Love we're going to use that on our board in a minute, but okay. I want to show you how to do this board. So I went over to Michael's, mm -hmm. and they've got these really nice wood boards. They're like kind of like 12 or 13 bucks. Okay. And I did not put a base coat on this because you don't have to. Okay. So you just need to put two layers. So I'm going to let you paint. All right. So, and the, the chalkboard paint is the Martha Stewart kind. Martha Stewart, yes. And it comes in all these different colors. It, and look how easy it goes on. It's just like regular paint. Yes. Okay. And so, in, in the instructions, it does say put two coats at least. And so, I would recommend maybe three just so that you know it's okay. nice and thick. And this is this what it looks like right here? That's exactly what it looks okay, like. Okay, yep. there you go, Nate. So, when you're doing your crafting <laughs> at home, Nate, now you know exactly what exactly. to get. Exactly. And, and you, you want to let it dry <laughs> about an hour in between each coat. Okay. And then let it dry for about 24 hours before you start using it. Okay. So, once we get our coats on here, uh -huh. let it dry. So you got your little circle over there. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I yes. Love it. And it feels, okay, so that was my next question. What is chalkboard? Does it feel like yucky caca chalkboard? <laughs> no. <school>? It's nice <laughs> and soft. I yeah. haven't tried the, the nail thing on it yet, but you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I won't do that. Okay, so, so we can write. write something. Yes. Yay! And so, how and fun! Then we can. And it comes off. Wipe it off. <gasps> Look at that. And it still doesn't feel yucky. I know. Oh my exactly. goodness, I love it. Okay. All right. Fine. So let's get to our board. Okay. So what you're gonna do is just grab some material. Um, I had some extra material around the house, and then I cut it to about an inch bigger than what my board is. Okay. And I've already hot glued a little bit. I love of it. Dina does not sew. She hot glues. I do not sew. <laughs> okay. So let's just show everybody. It's just like sewing, but you don't sew. Yeah. So you just hot glued it around where you would instead hem. stitch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. <laughs> I know that's how we like I am to roll. No so girl, and I don't measure either. So okay. you know, <laughs> sounds good. So here, so here, we would fold like this little guy over, right? Fold it over, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna put a strip of your hot glue, okay. And this is why you have your bandaid on, and See I'll just my little put a little bit, dun, 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 dun. and, and then, then kind of fold that in. Fold Look, that guy she, over. That's awesome. Now good I job. too can not sew. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm, I put my bandaid on the wrong <laughs> finger. <laughs> There you, go. there you go. But see okay. how it is kind of warm, so yes. you don't want to burn your fingers. Okay, so then. So then, after, well, before you put your stuffing in. Oh, I was stuff. I know. We're <laughs> going to put Velcro. <gasps> Oh, smart. So now you can hot glue it onto the board if you want. Okay. But I put Velcro so that you can take it off the board. Oh, that's if you'd smart. Like. In case you need to wash it. Because mm -hmm. I have very messy kids. I know, okay, right? so basically you're making a little lap pillow. Yep. You stuff it. Once it's all said and done, you flip over your board, Velcro uh -huh. that guy. And look at you've just made like a little laptop. Look, I velcroed a little chalk holder that on there so for him. That is so fun. <laughs> All of this done, you can do it in a day's time. Oh and yeah, you real can quick. make several, one for each kid. So now yep. they've got a comfy, cozy little place to do their homework. Exactly. I love it. Great idea. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adina. You can follow Adina on her crafting blog. She's got all sorts of great ideas there. It's crafting with Adina, and of course you can find her on the Arts and Entertainment channel on uh, Time Warner Cable, San Antonio on Demand. Just look for her at craftingwithadina.com. Leslie?